Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Essence and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. So today, let's go ahead and take a moment to discuss 10 of the longest lasting slash beast mode fragrances that I have in my collection. Coincidentally, these are all niche fragrances. I will do one for designers shortly, but let's go ahead and talk about the 10 longest lasting niche fragrances in my collection. Now, before I begin this video and I talk to you about some of the 10 longest lasting niche fragrances that I have in my collection, I do wanna mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like top 10 videos just like this, but also giveaways, unboxings, special guests, interviews, reviews, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, please be sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. I also wanna mention that a lot of the fragrances in this list can be sampled via fragranceusa.com. I have partnered up with them for this video. All of their information is gonna be down below. They have a lot of really hard to find niche fragrances. There's also going to be a promo code down below. So definitely make sure to utilize that code if you wanna get the best price possible on any of these fragrances or at least the ones that they carry from this list which is most of them so these are 10 fragrances in my collection that just happen to last a very long time you know whenever i've done a list like this in the past or whenever other youtubers here on the platform have done a similar list a lot of the fragrances that get mentioned are like interlude for men by amouage or Black Afghano by Nasomato. In the past, I've also spoken quite a bit about Tuscan Leather by Tom Ford. So I wanted to highlight some different fragrances in this list, but also ones that through my experience or through my wife's experience, because she's actually worn a couple of these as well, these last a very, very long time. So it's pretty much guaranteed that no matter which fragrance you wear from this list, you can get 10, or I should say 12 plus hours from. The longevity is very good. The projection might not be beyond the norm's length beast mode, but the longevity is going to be superb. So let's go ahead and start the list. The first fragrance that I want to talk about is by Nishane, and this one is called Fan Your Flames. So this is a boozy, ambery, tobacco sort of a fragrance. It's very warm and rich and resinous and addictive. It's one of my favorites. I actually did a review on it. I'm going to leave a card to that up here. Definitely make sure to check out that review if you are interested in learning more about the fragrance. And of course, I have a lot of fragrances from Nishane. I really admire what they do, and I love their wide catalog of releases. The next one is by Inicio Parfum Privé. This one is Oud for Greatness. So in this one, you have the Oud, you have the Saffron. It's a little ambery as well. It's a little spicy. It has a little bit of a sweet character about it too. And Inicio fragrances typically last a very long time on my skin. Even Musk Therapy and High Frequency, which are like two of the lighter Inicio fragrances, those also last a very long time on my skin. So does Blessed Baraka and Side Effect and Absolute Aphrodisiac and pretty much the whole collection lasts a very long time. But I must say, Oud for Greatness is probably the longest lasting Inicio fragrance that I have. And for some reason, I never get nose blind to it. I never get olfactory fatigue. I can smell it throughout the entire day. And so for that reason, I always appreciate wearing it. The next fragrance that I wanna talk about is one where the creative director is Buck from the YouTube channel Big Beard Business. I'm gonna leave his information down below. This one is Exalt Nui by Navitus Parfum. So he was the sole creative director behind this fragrance and you can just tell the dark bottle this one is not playing around, no games being played here. This has two variations of tobacco. It has a little bit of a boozy profile. It also has a little bit of like a chocolatey vibe from cacao. It is really addictive, very warm and sensual, but it also has this element of mystery in it as well. It really is a superb fragrance that was composed by master perfumer Francis Kirkjohn and also Jerome Di Marino. And this is just awesome. I really hope you have the opportunity to try it. The next one that I wanna talk about is one that I acquired a few months ago. This is an oud-based perfume. In my experience, a lot of oud fragrances tend to last a very long time on my skin. This one is a little oudy, a little spicy, a little rosy, a little woodsy in ways other than oud. This one is Oud Al Melka by Royal Crown. And I decanted this at one point, I think, and um, I was fulfilling like a giveaway 
uh, and then I saw the liquid was so dark, and that happens to be the case with a lot of these. Another one with oud is oud jasmine, and even though you have this really bright, natural, indolic jasmine, the juice was like orangey. It was ambery. So you can tell that in terms of the raw materials being used, there are a lot of naturals. Typically, it's vanilla that tends to darken up a composition, but this one lasts an incredibly long time. And I kind of did this in order, from like the one that lasts quite long, but the least to the one that lasts the longest. And so it's kind of in order, although depending on your skin chemistry and the season and the occasion, it could vary or fluctuate the application process. Are you putting it on, on your shirt? Are you putting it on skin solely? So on and so forth. The next fragrance I wanted to mention in this list, just so that I can give the original interlude for men by Amouage a break, because I have mentioned it on my channel many a time. And this one, of course, by Amouage is Interlude Man Black Iris. This one also lasts a tremendously long amount of time. I also mentioned in my review that this one also kind of reminds me of the original. Of course, you have like this irisy, tuberose, clean white floral thing going on in the heart. It's inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe. If you wanna watch my review, I'm gonna leave a card to that up here as well. But if the original interlude got you 16 hours, this one is gonna get you 14 hours. So the difference is negligible. It still lasts a very, very long time on skin. No qualms there. And the next fragrance that I wanna talk about is by a perfumer whose name I also brought up in this video. And this one is Oud by Maison Francis Kirkjohn. Of course, we have Oud Silk Mood, Oud Satin Mood, Oud Cashmere Mood. All of those fragrances are wonderful. And in my personal opinion, all of his oud fragrances last a very long time, but there's something about the original oud that it is noticeable for many, many, many hours on end. So this one was actually a swap that I did with my friend Gary Carloni. I actually had an extra bottle of something and so I swapped with him and he told me that he sprayed this one day in his basement and he couldn't get the smell out for two weeks. And so this is one of those fragrances that is very resolute quite pungent, very long lasting. I absolutely love the way that it smells, the sweet, warm amber that's used in here. So it's not all about the oud, it is a complex formula, very long lasting. This one by Tower Perfumes, the perfumer is Andy Tower, it's called Au Coeur du Désert, and it, it means the heart of the desert. So this is kind of a flanker, not entirely, but it's kind of a flanker to Lair du Désert Marocain, very similar composition, very similar ingredients being used in it. And I mentioned in my review of this fragrance, if you wanna check that out as well, that I got 12 plus hours and now that I've had it in my collection for a couple of years, I think, it's gotten even stronger. So I actually sprayed this about a week and a half ago and the smell just wouldn't leave the room. And so it's one of those very rich, very strong, very warm, dry, spicy, deserty fragrances, one that I personally love. And I can say the same thing about the original, number two, L'Air du Desert Marocain, which translates to the air of the Moroccan desert. It lasts a very long time. The number three spot goes to a fragrance by the company BDK Parfum. This is a Parisian house and the fragrance itself is called Wood Jasmine. Now this is a very resinous plum based fragrance. It's sweet, it's succulent, it has this saccharine quality in the opening with the plum. It comes across a little fruity, a little tart, but you have that sweet, warm, exotic resin vibe. I believe it's labdanum that I'm getting from this one. Another fragrance that I've reviewed on my channel as well. Very long lasting, incredibly long lasting as a matter of fact. A lot of their fragrances do last a very long time. Rouge Smoking is another one that lasts a long time on my skin. Gris Charnel lasts a long time on my skin. But this one, I think, really takes the cake. This is a very long lasting fragrance, definitely going to give you hours of longevity. So I have a funny story associated with the next one. I brought it home one day and then of course I had my wife wear it because I told her, listen, this is a passion fruit, bright, citrusy, fruity sort of a fragrance. Definitely one that you can wear to work with these. And she goes, okay, cool. And as part of her spraying routine, she does like seven or eight sprays, mostly on clothes. And she told me she got like three different comments that day from coworkers who were like, wow, I can smell you today. And so she realized that she over applied and she told me, she goes, babe, whenever I wear light blue, 
by Dolce & Gabbana. She says, I can't smell it after a few hours. This one, I can still smell it on me now. And sure enough, as soon as she walked back in the house, it smelled like she just applied it. This one lasts an incredibly long time. This one by the company Kajal is called Dahab. So this is a passion fruit sort of a fragrance, kind of similar to Herba Pura by Sospiro, which is now Zerzhov. Also kind of similar to Kirke by Tiziana Terenzi. So it kind of has that same full fruity, passion fruit sort of a vibe. It's a little musky in the base as well, but it is a very complex aroma. And despite the fact that my wife wore it and she actually loves the smell, I do find it to be very unisex. So this one is 100% one of the longest lasting fragrances that I've ever smelled in my life. So I definitely got to give credit to this composition. And the one that goes in the number one spot is a fragrance that in my experience, every time I have worn this one, it lasted a very long time on my skin. As a matter of fact, on one occasion, I was testing a bunch of different fragrances from this house. And I realized after a couple hours of testing that this one completely overshadowed all of the other fragrances that I was testing from this house. And when you take a look at the darkness of the liquid in the bottle, I think that that kind of serves as a testament to highlight just how incredibly strong this fragrance is. This one by the company Roja Parfum is called Amber Oud. And if you can tell, the liquid in here is really, really dark. I mean, very dark, ambery liquid. Um, and this is one where one or two sprays go a very long way. As a matter of fact, I wanted to remind myself of what this one smells like, so I actually sprayed it here. You probably can tell, but it has actually stained the test strip a little bit. And so probably this is one that I wouldn't spray on clothing, definitely just spray it on skin. I think that that's when you're really going to get the full effect, but it's also an absolutely gorgeous fragrance. You have the amber, you have the spices, you have the oud. It's a little bit animalic, but not in a skanky, raunchy, barnyardy kind of way. Just, you know, the oud is there, it makes its presence known, but it's hugged and enveloped by all of these delicately warm, ambery resins. It is just a fragrance to die for. I really love this one. And let me also mention this. I sprayed this one at like 8.30 in the morning, just a short while after uh, my daughter woke us all up in the house. And right now it is 5.19 p.m. And this smells like it's just been sprayed. And so I have been really enjoying these fragrances. These are some of the longest lasting fragrances in my entire collection. And like I said before, I try to diversify this list somewhat. If you would like for me to do a designer counterpart, which I would love to do, please leave a comment down below. Also, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, if this video was helpful to you in any way, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. Once again, all you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. Thanks again for watching. Love you all, and we'll see you soon. Bye.